I want to go to Congresswoman uh, Kat Kamek uh, of, of Florida. Congresswoman, you know, you've been talking and warning about what's happening, uh, you know, with the migrant wave. New York City is the first clear example that they're going to have to have severe budget cuts to deal with it. I imagine while they're the first big city to acknowledge this, they won't be the last. No, Neil, it's it's good to see you. And yeah, just sitting there listening to Jerry detail those numbers and those data points, I'm cringing, not just as a congresswoman, but as the wife of a first responder. My husband, Matt, is a firefighter and SWAT medic. And I can tell you, being in the Sunshine State, we are the beneficiaries of the failed policies of New York City. We are seeing New York officers flee the city, early retirements, less retention. We know that the 911 response time is getting worse in New York City, but just because the cuts on the New York's, uh, the officer's side is getting bad, people don't realize the cuts that the fire department, how that impacts them. And that's really, really concerning. You couple that with bad policy decisions like no cash bail, all the bail reform efforts that are incredibly demoralizing, not to mention the city leaders have not really had the backs of the NYPD or the, the firefighters. That all leads to a picture of disaster. And you have to ask, where are your priorities? If they're willing to spend $12 billion on illegals, which, by the way, would equate out to about $350,000 per officer, that just tells you where their, their priorities are. And you know, it spells disaster. And I know I'm wondering, too, in the context of that, Congresswoman, you know, I know everyone made a very big deal, and it is a big deal, when the president meets with his counterpart in China. But for my money and the more immediate pressing needs in our country, it's this powwow he's going to have with the Mexican president, Obrador, that perhaps is the more immediate concern and worry. Has the president of Mexico done enough for you on this migrant situation, or is he looking the other way? Some cynics say he's in the control of the cartels. They're calling the shots, uh, and the fact is, he's just not into helping us on this. Oh, well, yeah, Neil, I mean, you point out something that's pretty, you know, it talked about in our circles, which is that Mexico has a major role to play in this, but we don't have an official policy when it comes to U.S.-Mexico relations. Further, furthermore, you have the Mexican president who calls out by name members of Congress who dare speak out about the crisis taking place on the southwest border. If we talk about going after the cartels, he's the first to defend them. And when you have 40 percent of Mexico under the control of the cartels, that is staggering, but more importantly, dangerous. And that all know, and we all know that the crisis at the southwest border has turned every town in America into a border town. You talked about Xi's visit, not one mention of the 160 factories in mainland China that manufacture the precursors of fentanyl that is killing over 100,000 people in our country every single year, Neil. This all has ties and connections to Mexico, China, and the streets of New York are ground zero for what is happening in the geopolitical sphere. It's disturbing. It's dangerous. We've got to get this right. And shame on New York City and Mayor Adams for putting the illegal crisis above the needs of his officers. To all those New York PD officers, we have got your back, and you can always find a home in Florida. And again, we know that they have given us a congressional district. We're going to continue to see this mass exodus of officers out of New York City because they know that they just are not welcome. Congressman, thank you. That, that, that's the risk of being a sanctuary city. Uh, sometimes you have to pay the price. Uh, Congressman, very good seeing you. Have a safe weekend, a good Thanksgiving, if we don't chat again. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Neil. Thanks. All right. In the meantime,